This is Barry Belosis, one of the musculoskeletal radiology fellows at Stanford University. The patient in this case presented with bilateral AP and lateral elbow radiograph, which are normal. This is often the case in the setting of biceps tendon tear. In some cases, we can see some edema, but in this specific case, we have a normal radiograph. The patient then underwent MRI. This patient's MRI without contrast showed the sagittal T2 fat-saturated images with edema signal at the course of the biceps tendon, which is around this region. There's no biceps tendon visualized consistent with biceps tendon tear. To visualize this, this is in a different patient, a 50-year-old male with arm pain. In this patient, we have axial T2 fat sat imaging at the level of the radial tuberosity. In this location, we should expect a hypo-intense or dark line inserting at the radial tuberosity, which is the biceps tendon. We go proximally, we still don't see it. And at the level of the elbow joint, we just see a lot of fluid and edema. And at the level of the distal humerus, we can see this hypo-intense band surrounded with large fluid, likely a hematoma, consistent with retracted biceps tendon. In our sagittal T2 fat set imaging, this is better depicted showing this hypo-intense curvilinear line, which is a retracted biceps tendon with surrounding hematoma and edema consistent with biceps tendon tear. This is a comparison showing a normal biceps tendon inserting at the radial tuberosity. We can see this hypo-intense band, which is normal. This is the case that we just saw showing edema signal without the hypo-intense band at the expected location of the radial tuberosity.